Hey there, this is Seth, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for and start using MailChimp. Now, what is MailChimp and why should you care about it? Well, let's start from square one, okay? If you're a real estate investor or a realtor or anything like that, if you're in the business of, you know, making money from real estate, one of the most important crucial components of your business operation is your ability to sell real estate fast. It's just, no matter how you slice it, it's just a very important thing. And in order to sell real estate fast, one of the most important things that you can build for yourself is what we all call a buyer's list. And a buyer's list, if you're not already familiar, is basically just a list of people. And it can be you know, a few dozen people, it can be a few hundred people, it can be thousands or tens of thousands of people who are looking to buy the specific type of real estate that you are selling in the area that you're trying to sell it. And I know when I first started trying to do this, I was doing it basically the worst, slowest, most painful possible way you could do it. I created an Excel spreadsheet, and when people emailed me and told me they were interested, I would type their email address and their name into my spreadsheet. A lot more work than it needed to be. All you really need to do is have a service like MailChimp. And the great thing about MailChimp is that it's actually free up until a point. Um, I think it's, it's well over a thousand emails that you can have uh, and communicate with without paying a dime for any of it. There are some limitations that come with a free account, but for all intents and purposes, if you just need a service provider who's gonna help you store these emails and get started with your list, MailChimp, in my opinion, is by far the best option to start with. I've worked with several other email subscription uh, service providers before, all the big names, and honestly, I hate almost every single one of them. <laughs> MailChimp is you know, far and away the easiest to use, the most cost-effective, pretty much across the board, I would say it is I mean, the number one option to go with. So, with that being said, if you want to sign up for your own MailChimp account, it's extremely easy. I'm going to show you right now exactly how you do it. As you can see from my screen here, this is what the MailChimp website looks like as of the date of this recording. All you got to go to is find the Sign Up Free button, which is, I guess, right down here. Let's click on that. Okay, now once you're here, you just have to enter in the basic info that they're asking for. And then we will go down here and create my account. Okay, so I'm gonna go check my email and get this thing squared away. So once I've confirmed my email address, I'm gonna see a page that looks something like this. So I'm just gonna start filling in my information. Okay, and then I will do that. And I'm not importing anything, I'm starting from scratch and I'm not setting this up for any other client. Put my stuff in here. Alrighty, and then scroll down. Industry, let's see, real estate. And then time zone, that looks right, Eastern time. And I'm not going to subscribe to that, and I will save and get started. Okay, now once you see this page, uh, really all you have to do with a free account uh, is just create a list. And it's going to give you all these little uh, you know, tutorials and show you where different things are. You know, If this is your first time through, then definitely pay attention to those. I think you'll probably find them helpful. For what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to create a list because that's I'm ready to get to business. So I will do that by clicking here. And then I will create this list. And I'm going to call this uh, Investor Buyers. So essentially the point of this list is to create a list of real estate investors out there who want to be buyers for my future properties that I'm trying to sell. So that's why I'm calling it that. And then in terms of my default from email, so this is essentially when people receive my emails, who the from email is going to be from. And I will just say Seth at retipster.com. If I had a different company email address, I could put that in there. And then for the name, I'll put Seth Williams. If I had a company name, I could put that in there too. But I'll just put that in there for now. And this right here, you're receiving this email because you opted in at our website at 
and then I would put the, the website URL. And down here, this is the actual address that's going to be shown at the bottom of each of my emails. And this is actually important because by doing this, you're helping MailChimp and your recipients to identify you as somebody who is not a spammer. So by keeping this address there, basically just let, letting them know your you know contact address, that's going to be a good thing in the end. And then down here, you can actually be notified of you know if and when people are signing up for your um, list so you can either get an email in real time when people sign up or you can get an email you know at the end of the day that kind of thing I'll leave that up to you however you want to handle that uh, let's just hit save so when you see this page if you're just getting started and you have absolutely no subscribers like I don't in this case you're not really gonna see anything here uh, if you do have subscribers and when you do get them they'll start being listed here and there's a couple places you can go to get started with building this list first of all if you have your own website or blog or something like that um, you can go here to sign up forms and you can actually start you know creating your own forms that you can then copy and paste onto your website and you can sort of get an idea for what those forms look like and different things you can do to change the look and feel of it however uh, usually what I end up doing with these lists is I have you know some kind of a you know a squeeze page or a landing page or some kind of an opt-in form that already exists and all they really need is for me to identify my specific MailChimp uh, list so that they can just sort of plug it in and start adding the email addresses to that particular list. And the nice thing about that method is that it's actually way easier and it's actually sort of how I prefer to do it. And just to show you how easy it is, all you have to do is go up here and click on your little uh, uh, picture and then go to profile and then you'll click on extras and then hit API keys and then you'll scroll down here and it'll ask you to create a key so you just click that button and then just like that we've already got our key right here and then we'll want to click this thing where it says label and just so we can call it you know investor buyers and then this right here is all you gotta do is just copy this we would move it over to our email list integration platform and then paste it and that's pretty much it that's all there is to it it's actually probably the easiest way to go. It's just a matter of knowing where to find it. Other than the option of using your API key to do this, the only other thing I'd probably make you aware of is you can also go up here to Lists and then click on this little drop-down arrow and then Settings. And there's another one down here where there is an actual unique ID for list investor buyers. So some plugins and integrations out there may ask for this instead. Between this and API key and then just creating your own form, that should be pretty much all of the ways that would ever be applicable to you know integrate your email list with your actual website. So once you got your, your account up and running, you just go to one of those three options, whichever one uh, your particular application is asking for. Copy it, paste it, and you are good to go. That's all. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope it was helpful, and I will see you around.